everyone and welcome back to my zone active kids where we actively invest in your future whose future your future my name is marisol stofberg and i am so excited because it is friday and friday means friday and i am so happy because friday means it's weekend and then we can play and have fun and rest and bake cookies and play in the garden and speaking of gardens as you guys know it is our week full of my home and today it's all about gardens i love gardens like i love them like a lot like i love how you can play in them and you can play hide and seek and have tea parties and look for fairies <gasps> once i saw a fairy walking in the garden and she was wearing like a blue dress and she had the prettiest curly hair um and her name was obi <laughs> Her name was Obi the Fairy. <laughs> anyway, we want to remind you guys that you can catch us every single day of the week from Monday to Friday at 9 on the MyZone and Zashi Facebook pages. And of course, I need to remind you guys that next week it's a brand new theme. And I can give you a hint. Things we'll be learning about are like fishes and dogs and cats but i'm not going to tell you what our theme is you have to think have to think and let me know what you're guessing yay and of course before we head over to the coolest kid on the block zaki because today he's being a big boy he is on his own can you believe that like amazing we first need to sing a song and i don't know about you but the weather and the fact that sometimes we can't always go to school uh, makes me a bit sad so now I want to sing one of my favorite songs. And my favorite song is Herman the Worm. So I need you guys to sing it with me. Okay. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. I was sitting on a fence post, slapping on my left knee, chewing on my bubble gum, chomp, 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 playing with my yo yo. Do up, do up, do up, do up. And along came Herman the Worm. And he was this big, how big, this big. I asked him, Herman, what happened? And he said, I swallowed one grape. Boom, 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 boom. I was sitting on a fence post, slapping on my left knee, chewing on my bubble gum, chomp, 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 playing with my yo yo. Do up, do up, do up, do up. And along came Herman the worm. And he was this big, how big, this big. I asked him, Herman, what happened? And he said, I swallowed two apples. Dum, 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 dum. I was sitting on a fence post, slapping on my left knee, chewing on my bubble gum, chomp, 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 playing with my yo-yo, do up, do up, do up, do up. And along came Herman the worm. And he was this big, how big, this big. I asked him, Herman, what happened? And he said, I swallowed three watermelons. Dum, 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 dum. I was sitting on a fence post, slapping on my left knee, chewing on my bubble gum, chomp, 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 playing with my yo yo. Do up, do up, do up, do up. And along came Herman the worm. And he was this big, how big, this big. I asked him, Herman, now what happened? And he said, I finally burped. Ah, that's my favorite song. Like, it always makes me feel better. But now we need to head over to Zaki. So let's see what he has to say. Enjoy. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hi, beautiful friends. I missed you guys so, 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 so much. My name is Zaki, and today it's just me, because I am a big boy. And I told Zoe she shouldn't help me today, because I want to talk to you guys all on my own. So this week we were learning all about my home and today it's all about my garden and that's what you guys can see on the screen behind me. And you know what? I love gardens because without our gardens we wouldn't have things like bugs and butterflies and I think they're like the coolest things ever. Gardening is the most fun thing to do ever. Gardens need one very important thing and that is enough water. Just like we get thirsty, 
plants get thirsty too. We need to make sure that they have enough water, but we also need to make sure that we don't give them too much water. Gardens are super duper duper important because not only are they the homes of our bugs and our butterflies, but they also help us to grow our food. You can grow things like 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 vegetables or fruits or even herbs. Imagine eating a tomato that you grew in your very own garden. I I I I I ate one the other day that I grew with my grandpa Zosta on the farm and it tastes even better than the ones you get in the shops. Um, 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 you can also have gardens for things like flowers and they help our bees to survive. Insects are super duper duper important in our gardens because they help to move the pollen of the flowers from one flower to the next. This helps our flowers to grow big and strong. So one flower becomes two, then three, then four, then five, and then later you have like a whole bunch. Um, 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 we also shouldn't forget about Mr. Earthworm. They live in the ground in our gardens. I love earthworms. And they're super duper duper important because they um, they might look a little bit funny but 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 they help our ground to stay clean and they also help our plants to grow but do you guys know what gardens also help us to stay calm we can sit in the garden on a blanket and read a book or look at the insects or even have a picnic and sometimes my my niece Zoe she has tea parties in the garden. Okay, okay, fine. I join her sometimes. I like tea parties. Or or or, or Zoshi and I we play hide and seek, or we even have like a scavenger hunt. Gardens are magical places. I think that if you listen very closely, like very closely, and you're like super quiet, you can hear. The plants talking. Some plants have deep voices and others have high voices. I also think you might even hear or find a fairy or two in your garden. And the little garden gnomes are also there. I think that when we all go to sleep, they become alive. And then they have their very own garden party. I think gardens are like the coolest ever. But don't forget, ne? just like our gardens need water, they also need sunlight. Sun helps our plants to grow and stay healthy. But if you think about it, plants are actually a lot like people. Because just like people, they need food and water and sun. But, but, but not too much food, not too much sun and not too much water. When you have a garden, you need to take super duper 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 good care of it. Because our plants and our flowers, th like when I'm hungry, I can tell Grandma Zoshiana or Grandpa Zosta, I need something to eat or something to drink. But plants can't tell you when they're hungry or, 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 or cold or too hot or thirsty. So you need to listen very carefully and take good care of them. Because without our gardens, they wouldn't be places for all our bugs and butterflies. And I think um, I want to sing a song with you guys about a garden now. Um, 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 but you need to sing with me. I don't like singing on my own very much. I open the door. I open the door. And I step outside. And I step outside into my garden. Into my garden. See my garden. Love my garden. I take a travel. I take a trowel and I dig a hole, and I dig a hole in my garden, in my garden, see my garden, love my garden. I take the seeds and I cover them up. I water those seeds just right and wait and wait and wait and wait till I open the door. I open the door and I step outside and I step outside. I see a flower. I see a flower in my garden. Love my garden. I had so much fun learning all about my home this week. And today, learning all about gardens. And now, I need to give you guys my fun fact again. Did you know that plants grow better with sound? Like, like, like when you talk to them or when you play music. They feel the sound and that helps them grow. So it's not weird if you talk to the plants. It's actually very, very good for them. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. 
But I need to say bye now because I have loads and loads and loads of homework to do. And then I need to go see where Zoe is. Because she's probably having a tea party somewhere. Which is why she didn't say hi today. But we'll see her again on Monday. So stay safe, friends. Bye. Boop. Mm. Oh. So I hope you guys enjoyed Zaki because I have some more fun Oop, waiting for you. I'm, I'm just throwing stuff around today. Woof. Anyway, I hope you guys are as excited as I am because now since Zaki was having so much fun, I think it's time for us to have some fun. And what I want to do is usually when we are in the garden, we play tennis. And I love tennis because I think it's a super fun sport. But of course, sometimes when you are at home, because it's not always safe to go outside and because we need to stay safe and protect ourselves, sometimes you need to be creative at home and think of other ways that you can play tennis. So now I'm playing hand tennis. I think you guys know I love playing this game a lot. So what I'm going to do is I have some colorful um, balls here. I have a purple one. I have a red one. I have an orange one and I have a blue one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of them, but what's cool is you can play this with anything. You can play it with balloons, you can play it with um, toilet paper rolls, we all have that at home, um, and you can even play it with something like a teddy that you have. So the idea is to keep it in the air. So with this ball, I'm just gonna tap it like this, oopsie, and see how long I can keep it in the air, but we need to count so we can see which color wins, okay. So let's start. I hope you guys are ready. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, that was the red one. So let's see if we can get thirty with this one. One. Woo! Woo! What? <laughs> that one didn't work at all. Okay, let's try the purple one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, I still needed one. There we go. And now the last one is the blue one. Okay. So let's, let's make things interesting. I'm going to put this one here. And then I'm going to put this one here. And then I'm going to put this one here. And then I'm going to put this one here. And so let's, let's make things interesting. I'm going to play with my other hand, which isn't my strong hand, okay? And I'm going to put this one behind my back, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh! It didn't work. It didn't work. At least I got to fifteen. I think that's something. Anyway, so um, now it's time for us to do something smart because we need to be smart. Our brains are super important. Now we're heading over to our lesson for today. So get ready for week 12, lesson five. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. And welcome. 
Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is My Home. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we need to sanitize. Remember, if you don't have soap and water, you can always use sanitizer as well. So, it's either you sanitize your hands or use soap and water. We start by rubbing inside, around our hands, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we are going to be talking about picture cards and Play a game. Now, boys and girls, we are going to have so much fun. Let's start our exciting lesson on page 27. On page 27, we have a game to play. And this game is all about cleaning. Not cleaning. But we are going to talk about the things to clean. <laughs> so we are going to start by cutting out the pictures on the cards. This is how we're going to play the game. You are going to pick up a card, then you show the others. This can be your parents or your brothers and sisters. On the card, you have to say whatever it is that is there that can be used to clean the house or what it can clean. Then when you're done, you can give it to someone else so that they can also pick a card. So let us start our game. And how do we do that? By cutting. Now remember boys and girls, a pair of scissors can be very dangerous. So when you are cutting, please make sure there is an adult nearby and that also you put your scissors away when you are done. So I have cut all the cards and now it's my turn to say what each and everything is used for. The first thing you can see is a brush. The brush is used for making sure that the tiles are clean. Now you can use a brush to clean the tiles of the house. The tiles are usually the floor. You can also use a brush to clean anywhere where the dirt is sticking on very hard. So we can use a brush to clean difficult places. Usually a brush, we use it in a circular motion. Now let's see if we have another item. This one seems like it is a bottle. Now this bottle is used to put any cleaning liquids we need. For example, if we want to clean the windows, we need the liquid that can clean the windows. So we take it and we spray on the windows using this bottle. Or this bottle can also be used to clean the tiles. So again, a liquid that is used to clean tiles can be squirting around, used to squirt, 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 and then we rub with a cloth. I'm going to do one more for you. This one is a bucket. Now the bucket can be used for so many different things. It can be used to hold the water that we use for a mop. Every time we are mopping, a bucket is very useful because the warm water helps to clean the floor. A bucket can also hold not just water, but any liquid you might need. A bucket can also be used when we are doing the laundry. We can put our clothes that are wet and we want to take them to the line in a bucket. So this is what a bucket can do. The rest of the cards I want you to do 
first with your family, discuss or talk about how each and everything can be used and what you can use in them. And then after that, you can play your game. Remember, the cards are down on the floor and you pick up one card and you tell us what it is used for. When you're done playing your game, you have another game you can play. And this one is on page 29. On page 29, we have a puzzle. And it is going to be our job to cut out the puzzle and then build it again. Now you can see that this is a puzzle of a house. The house is beautiful. You can see the windows, the doors, and even a garage for the car. So it's going to be your job again to take a pair of scissors, cut out on the lines for the puzzle very carefully, and then you can start putting your puzzle together. Now, once again, boys and girls, a pair of scissors is dangerous. I don't know how many times I have to say this. <laughs> so when you're using it, make sure you have an adult around. And when you are done, please put it back. It is not a toy. So I have cut out my puzzle pieces and you actually found me trying to do the rest of my puzzle. So far, I've managed to put the rest of the pieces together, but I'm left with these four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for your help. The first thing that I'm going to do is take this corner piece. Now the corner piece you can see has blue on it. So I'm thinking it should be up here in the sky. Does this match the other pieces? It does. So I'm going to put my corner piece right here. Now I have three pieces left. One, two, three. Where can I put this one? It's not blue like the sky that we had and it has no windows or doors on it. Should I put it here? No, it doesn't seem to match with anything. How about here? Oopsies, it doesn't even have a place. Maybe I should put it here. Yes, it belongs right here at the bottom. So I'm going to align my piece nicely and put it with the other pieces. There we go. Now, I have one, two pieces left. I'm going to start with this one. It seems to have a window and a little bit of a door. So if I look for a window and a door, I think this piece belongs here. Yes, it does. So I'm going to paste it nicely next to the others. Good job, everyone. So that means the last piece that we have, boys and girls, is right here and now our puzzle is complete well done everyone now i hope you also have fun when you are doing your puzzle and remember if you're done with it once you can take it apart again and try and do it a second a third time as many times as you want but just make sure that you don't lose any of the pieces so have fun boys and girls with our two games that we have today. Make sure you know exactly what is used for cleaning and how it's used. And make sure you cut neatly for your puzzle so you can use it again and again. I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. <music>my dear friends it's now time for us to say goodbye but before we do we need to sanitize so let us take our sanitizer remember if you don't have sanitizer that's okay you can use soap and water i would like you to rub inside very good round and round your hands 
in between your fingers, on your wrists, and your fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. <laughs> Sashi was supposed to come and see me. I'm not sure if he's around. Have you seen him? Sashi? There you are, Sashi. Were you hiding from me again? <laughs> so, Sashi and I would like to say goodbye together with a special goodbye song. And if you know it, you can also sing it with us. Are you ready, Sashi? Good. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Bye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation. I hope you guys had as much fun as I had today, but unfortunately that brings us to the end of our week. Um, and today I wanted to show you guys that sometimes you have to do things on your own. And it might seem super, super scary, but it's okay. Sometimes you need to do things on your own and it's okay if you're scared, but you still need to do it. So today, just like our friends Nike, I did it on my own. But next week we are back brighter than ever. It is our brand new week with a brand new theme, new lessons, new Zoe's and Zaki's, and new story times and new arts and crafts. I have so many ideas I can't wait to show you. But that's it from me for today. Stay safe until we see each other again Monday. Bye!